Molly, could you, do you mind turning that off? Did you pay the bills last night? I don't even watch it. It's just noise. The mortgage, Kevin. You said you'd take care of it. Did I? If you're so concerned, then pay it. You said you would. No, you say I said I would. I'm saying a different thing. Awesome. I'm not just going to agree with you because it makes it easier. That's great, Kevin. Way to take a stand. I'll just, I'll call the bank and tell them that you're too- Just turn it off! Where were you? Brennan, where was I when? The R&D meeting, this morning. Early morning meeting. Is there a memo on this? There were two. It was an important meeting. There were donuts. Okay, okay. I miss donuts? Dude, I try to cultivate an atmosphere of excellence and cool in this department. Obviously, but I am tired of your crap. If it's not the meeting, then it's the weekly reports, the residual honestly, spreadsheets. I, honestly, I, I don't remember the memo. Exactly. That's exactly my point. You don't remember. You know what? Just take the rest of the day off. Tomorrow morning, bright and early, you and I will discuss your future. Hi, honey. Where are you? Um, I'm all the way home. Look, I'm sorry about this morning. I... I'm out with friends. I'm not sure when I'm going to be back. Did you pay the bills yet? What do you think? I was at work, and now I'm in the car. <laughs> You okay? Oh, I'm not. I'm not sure. Here, drink this. Ooh. Drink this. Uh, oh. mm. You've got a nasty gash, right, right mm. here on. Mm. Ow, God, please. I had a kid, so I bandaged it up. But you seem uh, okay otherwise. Thank you. You're welcome. Kevin Garner. Satan. Pleased to finally meet you. I'm sorry, my head's still spinning. What did you say? Satan. My name's Satan. Is in the devil? Yes. It's a joke, right? Why would I joke? I mean, look at you. I wouldn't be joking at a time like this. God, okay. Um, I gotta go, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Appreciate you helping me. I really do, man. If you don't mind, just, just, just. Hey, 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 just stay awake. Stay awake. Keep talking to me. Oh, hey. what the hell, man? Keep talking, man. It's going to help you stay awake. Oh, Ow. We need to talk business, OK? Oh, business. business? What business? I want to offer you a job. I have a job. Not for long. OK, OK, okay. Satan, Satan? Satan, if you can help me to my car, I'd feel a little bit better. Of course. Mm. Where's my car? Where's the accident? There was no accident here. What do you mean there was no accident here? How long was I out back there? A little while. You should check your phone. What day is it? What's your phone say? No, you could have messed with my phone while December 14th, same as before your accident. You just said there was no accident. No. 
I said there was no accident here. I need to see a paper. What for? I want to see a newspaper. There, you see? Buy it. Buy a paper. I want to see the ones on the inside. Don't tell me you don't have the money. Not in that suit. We've just never had to prove it this far. This one? You could have put that there. Who's we? Me and you. Kevin, this isn't the first time we've done all this. You're certifiable. I have never met you. No, of course you haven't. It reads the same. Yes, this is tedious. You tell me, where is my car and where did everybody go? They didn't go anywhere, Kevin. You did. Are you sure you are where you think you are? I'm hungry. Let's get some dinner. I'm buying it. How's old Josh doing? That work out for him? Just like I said, right? Kevin, what do you know about me? Nothing. I don't know who you oh, are. Oh, you do. Two? Uh, yes, Tina. Thank you. Right this way. Fine. You're Satan. Is that what you want to hear? And what do you know about me? What can I get for you guys? Steak and eggs. Glass of milk, tall. Kevin? Well, um, just, just have a coffee, please. Are you sure it's my treat? Coffee's fine. Kevin will have a coffee. Okay. You're a fiend, a crook, a liar. Your goal? Misery. Straight out of Sunday school. You're religious then? Yeah. Well, sort of. Hey, I, I used to be. That's different. Wouldn't you like to know how I do it all? Do what? Cause all this misery you're accusing me of. Although I prefer the term chaos. You tempt people. Basically. Let's talk about your marriage. What about my marriage? Molly's been cheating on you, clearly. Oh, has been for a while. What is this? What? You guys haven't had a real conversation in, what, three years? What did you think was going to happen? Number one cause of a broken marriage. Can you guess? <sighs> Lack of communication. Misunderstanding. Misunderstandings are the reason for so much conflict in this world. I mean, wars are fought over them. Entire lucrative professions are built around fixing them. And when communication breaks down, chaos. Steak and eggs, then a tall glass of milk. Excellent. Okay. So prompt. Can I get you anything else? Mm, this is incredible. Tina, my compliments to your mother. She just keeps outdoing herself. I'll let her know. Please, there's so much food. Stay, join us. No, I... Stay! Eat. Good, right? This morning, you had an argument with your wife about paying the bills. Did you promise to pay the bills? I, uh, I don't think so. Two people see the same accident, 
but their accounts differ wildly. Why? They each see it by their own perspective or bias. Wrong. They both see different accidents. Each one of them sees a different accident. Both are telling the truth, and they'll never agree. What? There is no fiction. For every choice you make, there are countless other realities where you make different choices. And that's true for every single decision made by every person who ever lived. Choice breeds infinite possibilities. Choice breeds realities. There's not a thing you can imagine that doesn't already exist somewhere, some when. There is no fiction. Parallel Earths. So good. So good, so good when he gets it. I love this moment. And you. Imagine the power to move one person from one reality to the next, to swap someone out for their doppelganger from another Earth, to shift them. That's what I do. I never talked to Molly about paying the bills. <laughs> no, you didn't. I shifted her. Replaced her with a version of your wife whose husband did, in fact, promise to pay the bills. But why? Just one tiny difference. Disagreement, confusion, tension, chaos. My wife. Shifted. It's how the world's work, Kevin. Prove it. I don't believe you. I need to see it. Shift something. What would you like me to shift, Kevin? Shift her. <laughs> sure. Where did she go? Somewhere else. I would have swapped her with another Tina, but you wouldn't have noticed. She's on some world where her parents never met and fell in love, where there is no Tina. Small deviations are usually best, but that's a big shift. Big shifts take people out of the game and into psych wards. Makes me sad. I didn't, I didn't mean. Oh, don't get broken up about it. They got lots of daughters. Or they used to. Maybe it's time to find a new cafe. What do you want from me? Oh, Kevin, you're special. You, you don't even know. And I can't do this all by myself. It's a big job, a big job. On every world, I set up my power players, and they do my work. What kind of work is that? You know, lie, cheat, steal, murder. I've never hurt anybody my whole life. No, but you have such potential. You're a halfway decent guy. It's the other half I'm particularly fond of, and it takes over in the end. No. No. You don't know. I do know. You do accept this offer. You're out there, Kevin, doing my work, and you're rewarded for it. You're, you're a captain of industry. You're a leader. You're. You're a Hollywood producer, you're a king. And I can provide all of those things for you, everything you ever wanted. I have a thousand different versions of you on a thousand different worlds doing my work. And they aren't hampered by an unfaithful spouse or a idiot supervisor who can't recognize their talents. Swear allegiance to me, Kevin, and I will lift you out of this embarrassing farce you call a life and into something glorious. can do that? Just say the word. It would honestly be my pleasure. But you... 
You're the one that made my wife disappear. You're the one that's been screwing everything up. Don't be unfair, Kevin. You do your part too, and I can keep on doing mine. I can make your life truly, truly miserable, or I can make you deliriously happy. The choice is yours. But that's not who I am. I'm not like that. I wouldn't know how to be like that. Look at what you've done already today. That poor waitress. I didn't. Poor Tina. That's one life destroyed. Wasn't it easy? Just say the word. You're already on the path. You might as well keep going. Let me give you everything you ever wanted. Just say the word. Father in heaven, are you way too are you praying? Last heard from me, but I'm <laughs> really here. This darkness. is amazing. Please, please, I love it. Do you really think that God will help you after what you've done? You're tainted goods. You're not even worth his effort anymore. And even if he does help you, do you think I will ever leave you alone? Ever? You can't put me off. I am relentless. I am at your heels. I know you. You are nothing. Nothing. I am greater than God. I am certainly greater than God. My name is Brock Heasley and I'm the writer and director of The Shift. We're partnering with Angel Studios, the same studio that brought you The Chosen, Dry Bar Comedy, and so many more, to invite you to join us in making this important film a reality. Click the link to invest in The Shift today.